Hello everybody and welcome. I am Dr. Luigi Vorluni and in this video lesson we will be talking about biodiversity or biological diversity. This term describes the diversity among living organisms, such as animals and plants, that are present in a particular area. The concept has three major elements, species richness, species diversity and genetic diversity. Species richness is the number of different species present in a given area. The more species are present, the richer is the area. Species richness has limitations because it simply accounts of different species and does not consider the abundance of each species. Let's see an example. And in order to facilitate understanding, I have a simplified concepts and graphics. Imagine that in a specific area there are oak trees, fungi, squirrels, falcons and foxes. This indicates the richness in this specific area, that is five species. However, it does not indicate how common each species is. It can be one or one thousand. Species diversity relates to the number of different species and also considers the species evenness, which is the number of individuals of each species within a community. For instance, let's imagine we have two areas, area A and area B respectively. In area A there are six oak trees, two fungi, one squirrel, one fox and one falcon while in area B there are two oak trees, two fungi, two squirrels, two foxes and two falcons. We can clearly see that in area A and area B there are the same number of different species, that is five. Furthermore, we can also see clearly that area A is dominated by oak trees, while area B shows higher species evenness and therefore can be considered more diverse. Species diversity can be measured using different indices. The most notable and common is the Simpsons Diversity Index. Genetic diversity is the number of genotypes within a population. Let's see an example. By looking at these walls, it's clear that each individual looks somewhat different. Species with low genetic diversity are more vulnerable. The genetic variability of a species can be measured by techniques such as genome analysis. Biodiversity is important for a number of reasons, including that ecosystems tend to be more stable, show natural sustainability and are more resilient to threats. It also helps maintain a natural balance within an ecosystem and create a dynamic eco-balance. Furthermore, it also helps provide numerous natural resources for other plants and animals, including humans. Food, pharmaceuticals and other resources, such as wood and rubber, are all extracted from areas of high biodiversity. The loss of one or more key species from an ecosystem can have serious negative effects that over a period of time can collapse an ecosystem. There are some species called keystone species, which are particularly important to maintain the diversity and abundance of organisms within an ecosystem. The absence of keystone species would start a dominant effect in an environment as other species would start to disappear. For example, bees are extremely important for many species because they are pollinators. Sea otters keep the number of sea urchins in check, preventing them to destroy kelp forest. Sea stars keep the population of mussels in check. There are other reasons why biodiversity is important, including economic, 
as many countries, such as Kenya, derive a significant amount of their GDP from wildlife tourism. Humans have the moral and ethical obligation not to destroy biodiverse area of the planet and cause extinctions of plants and animals. The loss of biodiversity contributes to climate change, as carbon sinks in the form of forests are lost and in turn climate change is also a cause of biodiversity loss. The causes of biodiversity loss include the intensive agriculture and farming, loss of meadows, hedges and natural plants from the farmland, as farmers grow just one type or a few types of crops for economic efficiency. Also, human resource demand, such as deforestation, non-sustainable fishing, population growth and urbanization, as well as pollution, global warming and climate change. All these factors contribute to biodiversity loss. In conclusion, species richness is the number of species living in a given area, while species evenness is the number of individuals of each species within a community. Biodiverse ecosystems are rich in species, with the high species evenness and high genetic diversity. Maintaining biodiversity within the various ecosystems is important for the natural environment, for all living organisms and for humans.